So we've talked about genes, we've talked about chromosomes. What about genomes? So who'd like to define a genome? What is a genome? The complete genetic makeup. Yes. So the, the genome is all of our DNA, okay? Now, it's not only the DNA in our nucleus, it's also the DNA in our mitochondria. Did you know our mitochondria have DNA? Yeah. So it's the DNA in our mitochondria as well. So all of that DNA is our human genome. Okay, the genes and the non-coding regions, all of it. Now I say every cell in our body contains a complete copy of the human genome. For extra credit, who knows a cell in our body that does not have DNA? Red blood cells, who said that? Excellent, good job, extra credit points. Yes, our red blood cells, as they go through the maturation process to come a circulating red blood cell, it loses its nucleus. So our red blood cells do not have any DNA. Now, um, what's important to think about is, so our genome is all of our genes and the non-coding regions, all of our DNA, but not all of those genes are turned on in every cell. So what makes a liver cell a liver cell, a kidney cell a kidney cell, an eye cell an eye cell? Well, there are different patterns of gene expression. So some genes are turned on in certain cells and other genes are turned on in other cells. And there are some genes that are turned on in all cells that are just required for the basic cell physiology. But that is what allows each cell to carry on its own function. 